Prostate cancer is the leading diagnosed cancer among Irish men and men worldwide. Diagnosing the disease is a significant issue. And this is because there's two forms of prostate cancer, an indolent or a non-significant form, which probably doesn't need to be treated and will not progress within the lifespan of the patient. And then there's a more aggressive or significant form of the disease, which needs to be uh, treated immediately. Distinguishing these two types of disease is not currently possible uh, through our current clinical diagnostic tools. So our group, here in the Conway Institute and also as part of the Prostate Cancer Research Consortium is trying to identify better ways of determining aggressive and indolent disease. Ireland has the highest incidence of prostate cancer in Europe um, and globally the incidence of prostate cancer is almost one in six. Um, so as a result uh, most men who develop prostate cancer will die with it and fewer will die because of it. I suppose one of the major issues we face at the minute is, is differentiating aggressive disease uh, that will cause men to die from the less aggressive disease that will not really impact upon a man during his lifetime. What we're hoping to work towards here is, is to identify uh, new markers which can characterise aggressive disease from non-aggressive disease uh, within a population in Ireland with the aim ultimately to uh, to use these markers in other cohorts and see if they're effective in those populations as well. Over the last number of years the outcomes from uh, treatment for prostate cancer have improved dramatically. Men are being detected with the disease at an earlier stage, been offered more treatments and have um, greater survival and greater outcomes. Based here in the Conway Institute we have access to state-of-the-art proteomic technologies whereby we can interrogate samples actually from patients and as part of the Prostate Cancer Research Consortium we established a bioresource whereby we collect blood, urine, tissue and DNA from every man who is treated for their disease here in Ireland and this gives us the resource which we can then interrogate at the proteomic level allowing us to identify panels of biomarkers because we strongly believe that it's not just going to be one marker that will be able to distinguish this very complicated and heterogeneous disease but in fact panels of biomarkers that will be able to give us a better insight into the biology and thus identify appropriate treatments for these men. Translational research is a term uh, which tries to bring information from the bench into a clinical utility. Our program approaches it on both sides we actually first of all ask what is the clinically relevant question, what are the questions that pertain to a man with prostate cancer who has just been diagnosed. Based on that question we then bring that question into the lab and say what technologies can we use to help address that question. Statistics can help us get the results from the laboratory, the biomarkers to the bedside, to the clinician. Um, so I really do think it's unique having a statistician on board. This is what will allow us to evaluate how good a test is and to get it into clinical utility because that's what's most important. We are currently looking at developing prediction tools or calculators which the clinician, patient, they can sit down together, they can look and see what the probability of certain types of outcomes. And this allows us to um, help the clinician in making more informed treatment decisions for the patient. Prostate cancer is a significant public health issue, especially now that there's a significant increase in the incidence of the disease, potentially to double over the next 10 years. So it's clear we have to be able to take our findings from the research that we're doing here in the Conway Institute as well as within the Prostate Cancer Research Consortium and apply those to inform men as to the better ways that they should be treated.